Hi, my name's Carly and I've been healed of epilepsy. Well, I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was 17 and I started by having um, seizures here and there until they got to the point where they were several times a day. And at that point, I'd hidden it from my family long enough and I needed to go to the doctors. So I went and saw my, my local practitioner and I remember really clearly just sitting down in, in, his, in his office and explaining to him what went on with me, that every now and again I'd just, have a, I'd just collapse on the floor and, and wake up hours later and, and not really know what was happening. And he, he sent me for tests and he had this really grave look about him. And I said to him, this is just a phase, right? I'm gonna grow out of it. And he said to me, no, this is not just a phase. You're a very sick young lady. And um, I, went to the, I went to the hospital and they told me everything that I should never ever do again, like ride a bike or climb a tree or drive a car. And it wasn't a blessing, you know, it, it was just, it was something that, that terrified me. They, they, they told me what was wrong with me, but they didn't really teach me how to live with it. They gave me a bunch of medications and sent me on my way. But it didn't get better, it got worse. Until eventually, um, it was so bad, I'd, I was having so many seizures and the medication couldn't, couldn't control it. I would wake up um, in the supermarket, on the floor, in the hospital, in ICU, um, just fall down the stairs. I mean, I just, I just, my life was incapacitated. So I just kind of learned to live with it and sucked it up, you know, and kept going on. But eventually, I needed a babysitter just for me. I couldn't be left alone with my children anymore. I was taking about 13 different medications. They were such strong medications. I had to take them at such, such a, a regular time every day that even if I took them 15 minutes to 30 minutes late a day, I'd have a seizure. It had to be that, that well controlled. And even then, um, with the medication, the seizures weren't wholly ever controlled. But you know, it frustrated me because when I looked in the Word and I saw, I read the New Testament, I saw Jesus doing miracles. I saw Jesus healing the sick. I thought maybe he was just in a bad mood. Maybe I, I, wasn't, I wasn't in favor or something. One day I went to a Bible study and it was my friend's Bible study. She was part of a different church. And I noticed there was something different about those group of ladies. Their relationship with Jesus had, was life-giving, and I wanted what they had. When, when we sat there, she said, we're just going to spend a couple of minutes just being quiet, just listening to the Holy Spirit. Well, that was new for me because I hadn't really picked up on the Holy Spirit part of things, didn't really know who the Holy Spirit was. But uh, I thought, OK, I don't be rude. So everyone in the room shut their eyes, and I kind of looked around, you know, and I kind of peeked out to see if anyone else had their eyes open. And on the inside of me, when I got real quiet, I just, I just heard the Lord. I didn't know it was the Lord immediately, but I heard this, this, this voice on the inside of me and I knew it wasn't coming from me. And it said, Carly, you know, this epilepsy, you, you haven't ever let me in on it. You can be healed from this in two weeks time if you choose to be. He said to me, you know, it's just like a, a switch. You can, you can flick it off. You just, you just turn epilepsy off when you're ready to. I thought, wow, that's pretty huge. And then the scripture from Deuteronomy came to me and it was just like, I've set before you life and death, choose life. It's like the God of the universe has put the power in my hands to choose life over something that's controlled me all these years. Man, that just, that just blew me away. I was like, I can't tell anyone. They just, they're gonna think I'm, I'm loopy. So I kept it to myself. That period of two weeks, the Lord just showed me. He showed me in the word, he showed me in my heart, he showed me in my dreams, how much that epilepsy had become part of me and that my life had just adapted around being sick. He just started to show me what it would be like to be well. What would it be like to, to get up in the morning and not have to be ruled by doctor's appointments and drugs and, and safe areas and, you know, and managing a disease? What would it be like? And, and so over that period of two weeks, the Lord just changed my heart. He showed me that I was special because I was his child and that he had plans and purposes for my life that I couldn't achieve if I was sick. So I said, you know, if, if I go back to this Bible study, having not told anything what the Lord's been showing me over these last couple of weeks, and my friend um, offers to pray for me, I'm gonna know it's you, God, I'm gonna know it's you. So I went back to that Bible study, and all through that Bible study, I didn't say anything, and nobody, nobody offered to pray for me, absolutely nothing happened. So we got to the end and we're leaving for the afternoon, going to get our children from school. And just as we're walking down the garden path, my friend looks at me and she said, you know, I really feel I'm meant to pray for you. So she, we, didn't, we didn't have a lot of time, so she just slapped her hands on me and she said, I'll be healed in the name of Jesus. And kind of chuckled and walked away. But for me, I knew, I just knew because I knew because I knew. That was it, it was done, I was healed. And on the inside of me, in my mind's eye, I just flicked that switch. I just turned epilepsy off. I chose life in that moment. 
And I went home and I was so excited and my, my husband was there and he said, well, how was your day, honey? And I'm like, it was awesome, I was healed of epilepsy today. He said, well, you're gonna die and leave me with three children, aren't you? I said, well, I wasn't planning on it. But you know, we'd, we'd come from a, a background where this didn't happen. It just seemed so good to be true, too good to be true. And he, it didn't go down very well either when I told him I was gonna stop taking all my medication. That kind of freaked him out a bit. You know, because like I said, within 15 or 30 minutes of me being late taking my medication, I'd be having seizures. Well, hours went past and I hadn't taken any medication and I still hadn't had any seizures. And, uh, and, and slowly by slowly, he started to see, well, hang on a minute, something really did happen to you. But I tell you, that was um, 11 years ago and I've never had another seizure. I've never had any of the medication anymore. I quit taking everything in that moment because I was so utterly convinced that the Lord had spoken to me. I just, I just drew that line in the sand. I just picked up that stone and killed that Goliath and he wasn't gonna be resurrected. So that was the end of epilepsy forever. You know, one thing that was really instrumental in me receiving my healing was coming to the understanding that healing wasn't, that, that, that sickness wasn't good. I had to come to understand that sickness wasn't a good thing, that healing was God's will for my life. And to, and to start to imagine what it would be like to, to not live with sickness, but to wake up every day and walk in the divine health and healing that God had for me all along. But before I could receive that, I had to start to see myself well, to see myself healthy, to see myself healed, to see myself like a child of God. And that starts now, right where you are, sitting in your seats, laying in your bed, wherever you're watching this. Start seeing yourself as a child of God, as God created you to be before the sickness, before the disease, hold, healthy and healed. And it will help to prepare your heart to receive your miracle.